Yeah, it started. Hello, Didro. Welcome. Welcome to the worship. We are about to start. In a, in a few minutes, we are about to start. Welcome, Didro. Thank you so much for coming. Welcome to worship with my family this morning. I appreciate you coming. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
There you see, you see the worship. Yeah. You don't log in. Mm -hmm. You need to show. Sure. Sure? Please, are you logging? Then turn no. it up. Let me see. No.
Oh, 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 to the Father, through Jesus. 
we are before thee Amen. to honor your name and to magnify your name. Amen. This day, your son Jesus Christ is no longer in the grave. Amen. Father, in spite of difficulties, Papa, you, you offered your only begotten son because of our sins. Amen. Here we have come to celebrate this name. Amen. This name that when we call this name, all sin, all evil, the demon will fall. Amen. Father God, sustain us right to the end. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Yeah, we are victorious. Glory be to God. Who has given us victory? 
flash this into there now. Oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. How excellent is your name. Verses 3 through 14. 
Matthew chapter 24 from verses 3 through 14. Jesus, I so 
whatever moment you are going through, yes, Father. Father, may your word be a deliverance unto us. Amen. May this word be a source of complete deliverance. Amen. Father, you spoke unto the disciples. Father. You explained what will happen in the time to come. You did. And today we are experiencing what you did oh, explain. Lord Jesus, Father, Jesus. you said that it is he who endures right to the end that shall be saved. Let this word save oh, us. Jesus. So that we will be able God, to endure and to benefit from the grace of this word. In the name of Amen. Jesus. Father, hear our humble prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. In the highest. Amen. Glory be to God. In the highest. Amen. For his mercy is endured forever. Amen. For his mercy is endured forever. Amen. Worship to our God in the highest. Amen. Honor to Jesus even yet forevermore. For his mercy is endured forever. Amen. For his mercy is endured forever. Amen. Okay. This is time to listen to the word of God. Okay. It is, we didn't come here to play. Okay. We are before the Lord. We are before God. Jesus Christ spoke to the disciples. He was explaining what will come to pass. And today we are experiencing all what the Lord said. Okay? And you guys should listen keenly because this is the word of deliverance. This word will save you from issues to come. Okay? Alright? Yeah, before we dive into the word, we will actually look at what it means to endure. What does it mean to endure? I will ask my little ones to explain what they think about to endure because the Lord Jesus Christ said but he who endures to the end shall be saved he who endures right to the end shall be saved what do you guys understand by to endure who knows to endure have you ever heard of that word to endure do you know what it means yes. you don't know yet Theodora doesn't know can you explain it to Theodora or to us? To what the word endure means, it means not to it means not to give up or to or, or to persevere or to keep on going Good. without stopping. That is so awesome. Nothing. That's excellent. <laughs> that we should persevere. No matter what is tough, no matter the difficulty, no matter what we are going through, no matter the tribulation, no matter the torture, no matter whatever we are going through, he who endures, what does it, it doesn't mean that you should endure only the tribulation, you just in, but he is saying that if you persevere to serve Christ, you persevere in his word, you persevere doing the right things, not Compromise. There should be no compromise at any one moment. Then you will be safe. Because he used this. He said, "But he says, but which means that this thing will happen. But those that will actually stay on the word of God, those that will persevere with the word of God, they will be safe. That is." A point that I wanted to emphasize on before we dive into the word. Because Jesus Christ was talking. He was explaining all this, these things that will come to pass. And today, you and I, we are experiencing the same thing. And we will follow this word and we will see. We will find out that all what Jesus Christ said, he mentioned that there will be a time to come. When 
saying false prophets, they will come up. Some will come and say, I'm Jesus Christ. There will be famine. There will be epidemic. There will be pandemic. All these things. An epidemic is a pandemic. Just so you know. These things will come to pass. It is different, but the difference is that an epidemic goes very fast. A pandemic goes, it is their, their own. A, a pandemic is an epidemic. That is what I can say. Yeah, so which means that a, pandem a, a pandemic goes slowly, slowly, but it goes all over. An epidemic, epidemic you can, it's very fast. Something that you can't even control. Okay. Who is reading the word for us? Okay. Let's open our eyes. Let's be watching. 
thoughtful that we shouldn't be deceived that it is Christ. No, that's not Christ. Continue. And, and ye shall hear of, of, of wars and rumors of wars. Ye shall hear. When you start, when you hear <laughs> that there, there is war, hey, there is war in Afghanistan, hey, there is war in South Korea, hey, there is war over there, hey, there is war. Those are the signs or rumors. You, move, you start hearing that, hey, maybe this country will soon fight with this. Hey, this one will soon fight with this. Hey, this, there will soon be war. Those are the signs that the Lord Jesus Christ made us to understand. That when you start hearing of these things, then the coming of the Lord is very near. Okay? Go ahead. But see, see that ye be, be not true. You as a child of God, you who believes, and you have read the word of God. He has spoken to you through his word. When you hear of these things, don't be troubled. Trouble not. Just understand and focus. Focus on the word of God. Focus in his word. Read the more and do his will. Because he told us that he who, but he who perseveres, perseveres right to the end shall be so even if there is war or rumors of war or those who pop up say they are Christ don't be troubled don't be troubled just know that it's the accomplishment of the word of God when you hear of war then you, I can, you cannot never you kneel down you can pray that God should save Save the country. But don't, you cannot make a prayer that there should never be an earthquake. There should never be this. Because those are the kind of things, they are natural things and they are things that the Bible did not tell us that when you pray for, they will just end it. Your prayer will eradicate these things. So you should only, we can only talk to God for the things that God has. Ask us that if you do this, I will do this. Continue. What can I say that? For for all these things must come to pass. For all these things must come to pass. All the wars, rumors of war, all the, these people who will come up and say I'm Christ, all these things they, will, they must come to pass. Must come to pass. They will not come and stay. They must come to pass. Which means that when you, you, these things, you will see them. You will come to see these things. And they will pass away. So you should start flat. You prepare and know that his coming is very near. Okay? Okay. For, 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 for nation shall, shall, shall rise against nation. And, and kingdom against kingdom. We have all said nations shall rise against nations, kingdoms against kingdoms. You will see this king, this kingdom says I'm the one ruling, <laughs> ruling right to this. These are my boundaries. This one says no, I'm the one who's supposed to rule these people and end right here. These are my people. And this nation says I'm the most powerful nation. This one says, no, I'm the one to have everything in, on earth. This one says, no, we are more than this. And nations will rise against nations. Kingdoms against kingdoms. And these things will come to pass. When we see these things, we know that the coming of the Lord is very near. It's not far. And, and and there shall 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 be famines and and and, pest, and pestilences and earthquakes. There shall be famines, pestilences and earthquakes in various places. 
which means that there will be hunger. Famine, hunger in certain places, there will be no food. And there will be pestilence, death like epidemics, pandemics. Like today, we see Corona, coronavirus, COVID-19. It's an example you are seeing. There was Ebola sometime. We had Ebola a couple of years ago. And this today, we have coronavirus. When you start seeing these things coming up, and today, it creates a lot of doubts in the society. There, there are doubts. Nobody, nobody predicts. Nobody knows. No one knows if the economy will be good again. No one knows if I will be able to play with my friends again. No one knows if I will visit somebody again and touch them. But the Lord Jesus Christ says, if you see these things, trouble not the answer. Amen. Don't be troubled Amen. if you see these things. Just know that these are the things, signs that will come to pass. Amen. These are the things that will come to pass. When we see all these things, let us stay before the Lord. Endure! Endure in the Lord. Don't give up. Like you said. Don't give up. Persevere in the Lord. Persevere in His will. And you will have the reward. Continue. All, all, all these are, are the beginning of sorrow. All these are the beginning of sorrow when we start seeing hunger. Hunger. Epidemics. Earthquakes. And all these things. That's the beginning of sorrow. People, people will be sad. Oh, there's hunger. I, can't, I don't have one to eat. Sorrow. You see that when there is a pandemic like this, everybody is so sorrowful because you don't even know what is what. Thing. Nothing is going right. You can't even touch somebody. You don't. People are losing their jobs. Sorrow. Every evil is coming. Things are not working the way they are supposed to work. Nothing is okay. Nothing is working before man. And we see sorrow in the entire globe. There is sorrow. Uh, when there is an earthquake, there is it's not a, something for people to rejoice. This, this is the beginning of sorrow. You are just scared when you hear that there is an earthquake in a city closer to you. You start asking yourself, maybe you are in doubt and in sorrow. You don't know if that earthquake will be in your city the next month or the next week. Or oh, the next evening, who knows? No one knows. You'll be in sorrow. That's the beginning of sorrow. Continue. Verse 9. Then, then shall they do, do, deliver you, you up to... Then they shall deliver you up to be afflicted. And and shall kill you, and and shall kill you. Ye and and ye shall be hated of all nations of of of, of my namesake. So Jesus is Jesus wants us to understand that when this thing comes, you you will be delivered up to some form of tribulation, the affliction, the pain. The pain that you go through, and you you will be killed and be killed, and you will be hated by nations. Okay, for my name's sake. If that is in a case where you know there are situations we have seen all these things. Sometimes you are just hated because because you you worship God. So, so around somebody who doesn't want to hear the name of God, the person wants to deliver you to tribulation. The person wants you to be afflicted. People are even in prison because of the name set, because of the name set of the because of the Lord's name, because of His name set. People, some are in prison today, so to speak. They don't even have what to eat. They torture them every day. Because they did nothing, they didn't steal, 
They didn't do anything but because they heard the Bible and went to a certain country and they preached the gospel there. These things happen. But the Lord Jesus Christ says that that is not a reason for you to, re to, do, to retard backward. No, you should not stay away from, from preaching the gospel because, because of this affliction. No, that is not what we have to do. We have to continue preaching the gospel. We have to continue. Yes. And, and then shall many be offended. And, and many shall... will be offended because of the name of Jesus Christ. To somebody, there are instances where you call that name Jesus and so it offends somebody. You talk nothing to that person but because you say Christ. I wouldn't do this because of Christ. The person is offended. Offended. Some even tell you, go as far as telling you that is it only you who worships Christ? There are many who worship Christ and they still do this or that. But you say, no. I don't want to do this thing. And they will be offended because you are worshiping Christ. They will be offended for no good reason. Yes. Yes. And they shall betray one another Jesus. and shall hate one another. Yes. So there will be some form of betrayal, especially when you are preaching the gospel. Somebody can betray you sometimes. And these things they happen today. Somebody will just go and see something that is not even the right thing. They want to betray you. They want to betray you because of the, 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 the name of Jesus Christ, because of his sin, because of the gospel. There will be hatred, there will be betrayal. All these things, we are seeing them today. They want you to be in prison. They will even say, this is what you did, of which you did not do that. Yes. Um, and and many false pro pro prophets shall shall rise and and shall deceive many. No, you are, you are reading from verses verses eleven. Okay, verses eleven. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, there will be many false prophets that will arise, and today we are seeing a lot of false prophets. They come up. They say, I prophesy. They, 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 they say, come and give me money. Come and give me money. I will prophesy. I know the reason why, why, you are not, why there's no progress in your house. I know the reason why everybody in your family, there's nobody moving forward in your family. False prophets. They will come up. And today we see the false prophets. Jesus Christ did not preach for money. Jesus Christ did not say, come and give me money for me to prophesy. No. The prophets that we read in the Bible, they were not receiving money to prophesy. Prof remember, the way if, for you to understand that it's a false prophet, prophecy doesn't come from you. The, you are a vessel. Listen, for many who don't understand where prophecies come from, you are just a vessel. In other words, I can say a country where God is using the fertile vessel that is fertile, God passes through you and you just pronounce his words. It is not you. If you say, I, I prophesy, I did this, I, is it you? If you believe that is you, that is the reason why they are asking for money. They are doing this. They believe that they are the one. Come and give me this. Let me go. Just know that that is a false prophet. That is how you can determine that this is a false prophet. If somebody is telling you that, come, let me, if, let me, I will lay hands on you 
but you will give me this amount. Just know. Or that if you give me, I pray your business is going to flourish. My dear, you, you are in a trap. That's just a false prophet. It's a false prophet. Okay. And 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 because iniquity shall uh, shall abound, the the, the love of, 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 of many shall wax cold. Jesus Christ is saying that because all this evil, it shall abound. Because there will be lawlessness, iniquity, all this, they will abound. Then many will just look at this and they will want, they will draw, they will be wax cold, they will draw back. They will look warm. They will just draw backward. They say, no. Because if I preach the gospel, I can be in prison. Because if I preach the gospel, they can betray me. Because if I call the name of Jesus Christ, I can be fired from work. Because if I just call the name somewhere, no, people will start running away from me. I will not have friends. Many will be one school because of iniquity. That, and we see these things today. There are some who used to talk about Christ. There are some who actually loved Christ before. But because they want to maintain a certain environment, they want to be with certain friends who don't want to hear about Christ, then they decide to draw backward. Remember, you, you cannot say you love Christ and you everywhere you are doing the same thing like those who don't know Christ. If you are doing the same things like them, then you are not doing what Christ has sent you to do. Yes, verses 13, which is our main verse for today. Read. But, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Amen. Amen, my boy. But he who endures to the end shall be saved. That's Jesus Christ telling us that after all what we've gone through, after this reading we've talked, even if there is what Jesus is saying, is that those who will, who will see hunger, pestilence, earthquakes, all this sorrowful things and all forms of um, tribulations that will come and they endure, they persevere. They are the ones to be saved. They will be saved. If they persevere, even with all this difficulty, even when they say if you, if, if they persevere in singleness, Sometimes they don't have, have certain friends because, because they, they are talking about Christ and the friends are running away from them. They persevere before Christ. They shall be saved. Do we have any question? This because this that is it for for the money. Do we have any question? May the Lord. Bless us through this word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we are just from meditating your word. You spoke to the disciples explaining the signs of your coming. Oh, Lord. Father, your coming is near. Oh, Jesus. We are seeing all these signs today. Oh, Lord. None of these signs is far from us. Oh, Father. We've seen famine. We've seen pestilence. Lord. We've seen earthquakes. Oh, Lord. We've seen forms of tribulation. God. May this word guide us Amen. to endure right to the end. Amen. For you have made us to understand Amen. that but in spite of all this, but he who perseveres right to the end Amen. shall be saved. Amen. Father, 
Our coming before thee is not in vain, for we want to save our life. Amen. May this word save us. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hear our humble prayer. Oh, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Father, this morning we humble our soul before your word to thank you for this word that you've given to us to continue to enlighten our path, Father, towards the towards our kingdom life. We thank you, God, that you've come to encourage us to hold strong, to hold fast right up to the end. Father. That despite the pestilence, the sound, the, the, the rumors of war and sounds of war that we are hearing around us, that we should hold firm, Lord, Father. and stand right up to the end so that we can be saved. Oh, we thank you for this word of encouragement, Lord, oh, that you have brought to us this morning yeah, to make us to be able to gain strength gain strength Papa, to stand through this difficult time Father. to go through this pandemic Father. to go through this tu uh, to, through this tumor natural disaster Father. war and rumors of wars Father. we thank you for this strength this hate to, you have been able to give us strength to go through all this mighty father, father. and that will endure in love right Amen. up to the end oh, and we we'll trust you right up to the end of this christian journey okay. father take us by the hand right up to the end father. as your word today has come us to lead us father. in the name of jesus christ we pray amen, amen. jesus christ shall
Father, this blood continuously should cleanse. Father, everyone who listens to your word and abide to this word. In the name of Jesus. Father, remember us for the rest of the week. We are entering into a new week. Lord, may you guide us. May this word guide us wherever we are. That we have no fear. Like the Lord Jesus Christ said. That when we see all these things, we should not bother ourselves. Amen. We shouldn't be bothered, but because our trust is in Him, Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Amen. Sister. 
I already gave shout out to Sister Janet. Sister Janet, how are you doing today? God bless you for coming. Thank you so much. I have already given shout out to Sister Julie, uh, Sister Amy, uh, who, uh, Sister Ify Success says, Happy Mother's Day to you. Ooh, welcome, Sister Ify. I'm so glad to have you here. And if you are still in the building, say something in the comments so I know you are still here. We are so blessed to have you here in the building. Welcome in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Uh, who else is here? Lule Alma. Lule Alma. Thank you so much. I met Lule Alma this morning and she came to the live stream. Thank you so much, Lule Alma. God bless you for coming. I appreciate you coming to worship with my family live. Who else is in the building? Peace and love. Peace and love. Welcome to my life worship with my family. My sister, God bless you. God bless you. We are so blessed to have you here to worship with us. Thank you so much. Uh, Inspired Grizzel. Thank you so much for coming to worship with us. Inspire. How is, how is your day going, my sister? How are you on your side? You said Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to you too. Thank you so much for coming. We appreciate you, my family, and I are blessed to have you in the building. Deidre Lesage uh, came since. Deidre Lesage, are you still in the building? You said something in the comments, so we know you are in the building. Welcome, and we are blessed to have you. God bless you. We hope you all were blessed by this word that came to encourage us. I was richly blessed by this word. That's just what I needed to go through this time of pandemic. You know, through, sometimes we are Christians and we hear the numbers of this pandemic going around it's, it, it, it tends to scare so we always need the word of God to reassure us and to strengthen us in the Christian journey. Say something if you are still here. Oh, Sister Amy Tenya says it's always wonderful to worship with you all. Sister Bibi sends me love. Thank you so much if you are still in the building. Say something so we know you are here. Sister Amy, how are you doing my sister? I'm so glad to have you here. Sister Bibi, I found no upboard. I found no borobot on YouTube and got it free. <laughs> oh my god welcome guys i'm so happy to have you it's always wonderful to fellowship with you brother herman brother kanga kanga if you're still in the building say something say something drop something so we know that you're still in the building we have six amazing people in the live stream and if you're still here let us know Let me turn the camera. Sorry, guys. Let me turn the camera so I can see myself. We have five amazing people in the building. If you are still here, say something. We still have Sister Baby, Sister Amy. Who else is here? Say something so we know you are here. Four amazing people. Okay. Sister Amy says you look gorgeous as always. Thank you so much, my dear. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Let's go upstairs. Everybody has gone. Anyway, let me just stay here a little bit and fellowship with you guys before I go. You guys know what will happen when I join everyone, right? <laughs> I think that I have um, Sister Amy in the building and Sister Bibi. Okay, what's going on on your side today? Bibi, my dear, I, I admire your courage, your strength, and your resilience. You have this amazing resilience that I'm like, wow, wow, <laughs> Sister Bibi, you have this amazing resilience and I'm like, wow, God give people different talents. <laughs> for that one, I cannot argue with you. I know I praise you for that and that is you and that is unique with you, okay? Thank you, Sister Tonya. You say you look gorgeous as always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. I try. <laughs> I try. Yesterday was a very busy day, as you all know. It was a very busy day on YT Street, and it was really busy, and it was 
we had to do what we had to do today. It was God's day. We had to dedicate it to come worship Him. Mr. Tonya, I did not see the message you promised. I did not see the message on IG you promised. So I, I was, I kept on checking, but I didn't see. I'm still waiting. Bibi is feeding the kids. What are you feeding the kids with today? What did you make them for Mother's Day? Is it okra and fufu? <laughs> Okra and fufu. I made, I made, um, how they call it? Country soup. For village soup for my kids love village soup. Do you guys know this kind of soup that grandmothers cook? You don't understand what they did to that soup and the soup is just very tasteful. Ah, I said it. She said okra. She said feeling there for and okra. <laughs> Can never go wrong with fufu and okra, right? Oh yeah. My kids will get, get you at 11 p.m. and I say they want fufu and okra. And then you'll be like, do you want me to start cooking fufu and okra now? Yeah, you can never go wrong with fufu and okra. And trust you, you are a fufu and okra specialist. Yeah, I made country soup. This soup they made with dry fish and palm oil. And just throw some of those village, those African spice inside. It just gives this wonderful taste. My, my, my kids think that is the best soup. <laughs> That's what they think so far thank you guys so much for joining us in the worship thank you so much so sister tonya what's going on okay no problem i'll be waiting i'll be waiting bibi is feeding the kids and someone we have four people in the building. Someone is at the door. Say something. Someone's at the door. Say something so we know you are there. Is anybody working on uploads? Bibi, are you going live today? Or oh, today is a break, or oh, you are celebrating Mother's Day? <laughs> okay, that's that. Don't you say nothing much is going on? Okay. Just the, I just have, I just feel like this weekend is too short. If the weekend could be like six days, <laughs> I can't believe my Saturday passed yesterday. I was laughing so hard <clears throat> at 2 a.m. BB was eating dry bread and she was saying that she has not eaten the whole of Saturday. And I'm like, I can relate. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Just came in with the kids now. Okay. Wait, where did you go with the kids? But make sure you eat your own fufu and okra, uh, baby, so that you don't eat bread at 2 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> when your blood sugar will be low, make sure you eat some of that fufu and okra too. Okay. I'll be there. I just have a lot to do. I'm just confused where to start because my things of yesterday I did not even go half. I had a lot of plans. I feel like Saturday was 60, 72 hours day. I, I woke up my morning. I wanted to make my morning to just the morning time to be 12 hours, but it didn't work. My morning was still as the regular hours, and I just got to do what I got to do. Busy, busy. Yep. Thank you, ladies. It was wonderful worshiping with you. We had an amazing time together. And I'll be stopping the live stream and... Hopefully, you'll be catching one of you or you all on uh, you catching you all on on Whitey Street. Stay blessed. Have a wonderful week and enjoy your Mother's Day and Happy Mother's Day to you all, gorgeous mothers. And stay blessed. Bye.